Hello and uh, welcome to the fourth and final part of my user's review of the HTC Touch. What I thought we'd do next is just have a quick look at some of the uh, technical hardware details of the device. So we're into settings. Let's go into device information. And once in there, let's just go to hardware. And you'll see down here that the processor speed is 201 megahertz. That is a little bit on the slow side, uh, as I've already mentioned, and some programs do grind a little bit, but um, basically the one thing I have found about this machine is that it is very, very stable. Uh, regular Pocket PC users, the one thing that they will be doing with their stylus rather a lot is finding the reset hole and punching the stylus into the reset hole to restart their um, uh, their pocket PC. I have to say with this one I've used it to, for a little while now and that is uh, something that you don't have to do that often. Um, it's a quite a stable system. Um, the uh, RAM size is only 64 megabyte which I think is a little bit on the stingy side but there we go. Um, flash ROM 128 megabytes um, and uh, 32.46 megabytes overall storage size um, available display resolution is 240 by 320 pixels at 65,000 colors um, the screen on this is quite nice it's not the best screen I've ever seen but uh, it's bright enough and it's sharp enough so uh, no problems there one of the things I found in settings um, which was interesting was the touch flow icon um, I was rather excited to see that so I tapped on touch flow and all it does is give you the option to um, uh, enable sound when finger scrolling and panning uh, and that's all it did that was a little bit disappointing as is normal you've got uh, an icon there to make uh, adjustments to the screen where you can change the orientation from portrait uh, to landscape for right-handed or landscape for left-handed and you can do screen alignment as in the original setup However, if you do go to the Today screen, you will actually have an icon here, uh, just there, which if you tap on it, will actually change the screen resolution there and then. And do that again. You can see that the actual screen update is actually fairly slow. Well, that will all be to do with the processor, I guess. Uh, again, facilities like that on other pocket PCs. Uh, with faster processes that would happen quite quickly but at the end of the day there's a there's a fair bit of graphics going on there so all in all not too bad but I would reiterate again that the one experience I have had of this machine is that although it might be a little bit slow at times it is very stable I don't have uh, program crashes um, in terms of um, equipment that comes with the HTC you do get a set of headphones with it uh, which connect via the USB port now these are the headphones themselves uh, very nice quality HTC branded it has a central um, uh, control which uh, has a button there for answering uh, phone calls and ending phone calls for example um, that's a, a microphone and it's also got a little volume control at the side as well so that's very nice and again uh, you have uh, a clip there as well to clip to your clothing very useful but this is the problem as far as I'm concerned is the USB connector um, that's great um, considering you have to have all of this uh, uh, connectivity here for the uh, central control uh, I can understand why it's USB. The trouble is, if you're using uh, or intend to use your HTC Touch a lot for music, then you may very well would rather have had a standard 3.5mm jack for ordinary headphones. However, um, I believe you can get converters from USB to 3.5mm jacks, so you can still probably use your own uh, favourite headphones with um, the unit. I've mentioned before about uh, the touch flow and done a little bit of demonstration on it. I, you'll probably notice that I, I'm not a 
great user of the touch flow I'm not particularly keen on it and I think that's mainly because uh, I've been using pocket PCs for so long um, I'm, I'm used to using the stylus um, I'll probably get into using the touch flow at some time but uh, at the moment I prefer the stylus and even the touch flow can be controlled by the stylus quite happily as well um, in fact I find it works much better with the stylus uh, I'm not sold on the idea of using your finger on the on the machine um, but uh, I think that's probably uh, a case of not being used to it um, I haven't demonstrated the music the music is not something I listen to a great deal of lot a, a lot certainly not through a machine like this um, but um, I have heard other people say that the uh, the mp3 player that HTC have uh, provided here is in fact very good um, so that's worth checking out um, and also you've got your photos and your video video facilities through uh, the the, the uh, touch as well the one thing I haven't demonstrated is full screen video um, for example watching an entire movie on this um, I can tell you that um, it is extremely good um, very very watchable a little bit jerky again this is going down to the the, the problems with the processor I think um, so if you have got a lot of graphics activity going on on a, on a movie that you're watching it could get a little bit flaky I think what's my final verdict on this machine was it money well spent um, in the UK this machine can be purchased um, sim free i.e. without without a contract for about £280 um, that um, I think is probably money well spent I think it's a wonderful machine I've, I know that I've uh, raised a lot of criticisms with it but it's important to get the bugs out of the system first so that you understand exactly what you're buying um, knowing what I know now which I didn't know before I bought it I'd still buy one I think it's a terrific piece of kit I think the build quality is excellent um, and then probably most importantly of all um, I think Pocket PC, or perhaps a better description is smartphone, I think uh, smartphones in the past have been more PDAs than phones. I think HTC, particularly with their touch flow and their own phone applications and so on, have probably got the balance about right. It's a good phone married up with a good Pocket, pocket PC, and uh, that's the combination that you want. Um, the other thing is the size of it. It is very, very tiny. It's very, very slim. It's very, very light. It's definitely easy to carry around. It feels robust. Um, and frankly, I think what's going to annoy me is that HTC are going to improve on this machine in a very short time and they're going to come out with a much better one. Um, and I'm going to have to wait a long time before I can uh, get hold of it. So I think HTC have done a good job. Um, I thoroughly recommend it and uh, I very much hope you've enjoyed these uh, videos and perhaps most importantly of, of all um, that they've been some genuine use to you. So with that this is the final part, thanks very much for watching and uh, see you again, well, cheers for now.